Um, I just want to like tell everyone that I've just been filmed for a um, Made in Liverpool, the new TV channel that's just been. Right. Come on, and I've also got in touch with my old school, and I'm going in to do a talk with the kids just to say like how I cope with bullying, and then how I went from being in school to college. Well, let me then... stop you there and tell everyone because people don't know what you're talking about. So tell everybody what um, the reason is. I'm basically just trying to spread awareness about the condition so more people know about it. What um, is what? What is the condition? Neurofibromatosis. Um, it's not weird, but because people don't know about it, then obviously people don't know about it, then it's less talked about. So and explain to people what that's about. I mean, I know, but I just want to make sure my listeners know. Can you explain what it's about? Yeah, it causes tumours to go along your nerves and that caused scoliosis, which is curvature to the spine. So I was eight years old when I had a 10 hour operation to put two metal rods in my spine and screws. Um, that was an older hay back in 2005. And ever since I got diagnosed with MF, which is for short, in 1998, I've just been in and out of hospital having surgery, appointments, and I can go to the hospital up to six, seven, eight times a month. Um, how have you coped with bullying? I've kind of got used to it over the years, and obviously because I've been licensed to being on TV, I kind of think that I've like showed them who's boss. Like, the, obviously the people who bully me, you know, I don't think they're... The only time they'd be on TV is probably like the likes of Crime Watch, to be honest. Um, but obviously been in the Echo quite a few times, and I've kind of shown them who's boss and like that I'm bigger than them. How do you go day to day? Do you have problems uh, with, with, with this? Yeah, um, Health-wise? Yeah, look, I use two crutches, um, and at the moment I need to use my chair, because last year I... And that's when he said I had two broken bones in my hip. And he didn't inform me that I had them when I broke it. Why didn't they find them or didn't they find them? The reason why they didn't look was because it was such a hard break, like a hard bone to break for someone my age. Um, and the only people that get it are people like with osteoporosis or people in a car crash. But... The problem with NF is it can cause osteoporosis, so we didn't look into NF to, you know, see what problems it can cause. So I'm in the process now of having a um, test done to see if I have got it. Right. So do you have good days uh, at all? Yeah, I do have good days. Um, it just depends from day to day. Sometimes I can wake up and be in no pain. Some days I won't. I'm just like drugged up to my eyeballs on tablets every single day, which affects my social life because I'm not allowed to drink. And I have to be home for like nine o'clock at night to take medicine because I've got night meds to try and relax me. Are there many people with this illness? Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of people, but obviously because it's not talked about. People think it's rare, but based, that's what basically I've been doing like for the past like 14 months is going on TV, going to the Echo, and got my own YouTube channel, which I post videos to help people all around the world. So people can come to me for help if they've got the same condition. What is the uh, YouTube channel? It's just my name, Pearl Kelly, um, and the pictures and Everton badge, of course. Quite a lot of friends. We've got really good friends from college. Um, are, they, are they supportive? Yeah, I've done, done a health and social care course, and I was the youngest out of them all, so I was 18 when I did it, like 19, and they were like all in the 20s, the 30s, and all that. Um, and they all had kids. I was the only one out of 15 who didn't have a kid. 
So they kind of like treated me like I was one of their own, like always make sure I was okay and help me out. Good, good friends, whether you're poorly, uh, well, whatever, good friends are hard to find. Yeah, they are. It's like a four-leaf clover. Hard to find, but lucky to have. Just my name, Pearl Kelly, and the pictures in Everton Badge. Always great to talk to you, Pearl. You too. Oh, thanks a lot for that. I appreciate that. Always great to talk to you. You take care. Bye, peace. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.